scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by the Viper, Randy Orton, and Paul Heyman from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match. As we ready for singles action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory. You can bet that Pete Dunne is going to look to utilize his classic English mastery of submission holds and attacking an opponent's limbs. Dunne is also notorious for pushing the limits of WWE's rulebook. If Pete Dunne is one thing, it's tenacious. The Bruiserweight's natural instinct is to always attack his opponent. The assaults that follow are devastating to a superstar's well-being. Forget about winning or losing the match. Yeah, as Pete Dunne's finisher is appropriately named, Saxton, when a superstar gets dropped with the bitter end, they are not getting up. He's one of those guys that gets going and it's hard to stop him. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. WWE made history in 2017 with a tournament to crown the inaugural United Kingdom champion, which I was lucky enough to call in person. And in that tournament, this man, Pete Dunne, emerged as the next can't-miss superstar. Lariat! Looks like he's starting to falter. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, boy, he is raw counter here. Baron Corbin is measuring. I'd agree with what Michael was saying about Pete Dunne's performance in the UK. No way. A stand of days. There it is. Oh, man. He's going for the pin. And there's a kick at it, too. Could take more than that. Baron Corbin looking a bit uneasy here. Nice. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. The good news for him is that his opponent's offense is likely packing a little less of a punch, considering all the damage he was able to inflict earlier in this match. Baron Corbin just too fast for him. Harsh impact. With the damage sustained by Dunn, he could be on his way out. 
You might just have nothing left to give, guys. The Bruiserweight is going to have a tough time punching his way back into this. Axeplex, man! Can he finish him off here? Oh, man, Baron Corbin is in trouble now. Every superstar remembers their first match on Raw, but for Pete Dunne, Byron, his first match has a little extra special meaning as it took place in his home country of England. Well, not only that, Michael, but Pete Dunne also walked away from that match with a decisive victory over the WWE Cruiserweight Champion at the time. Pretty impressive, if you ask me. He's one of those guys that gets going, and it's hard to stop him. We already established that Pete Dunne was successful in his first Raw match, but to me, the biggest takeaway from that was that the 23-year-old didn't exhibit an ounce of nervousness in front of a sellout crowd of nearly 15,000 in his home country on a big show like Monday Night Raw. That's because Dunne, he's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his son ever does. We've arrived. It's about time for the bitter end. But I, he's got the shoulders down. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. Oh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. Oh boy, he is rolling. Back in from the floor. He's one of those guys that gets going and it's hard to stop him. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the. Ooh, what is that? That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match. You could do it here. Baron Corbin is giving the crowd a show, but he needs to make sure he understands what really matters. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. Axe Blacks, man! What a comeback. Oh man, Baron Corbin is in trouble now. And he's able to get the shoulder up. Gonna take more than that. He's looking at it. We've arrived, it's about time. Ooh, nasty impact to think. I almost wrote him off earlier. We got a cover. Look at this. Baron Corbin in a bad way, guys. I have a feeling this isn't going to end well for him. Guys, it's a wonder he's even able to stand at this point. If I'm the referee, I'm seriously considering stopping this match. Big time takedown right there. This might just be it for him, Michael. He's one of those guys that gets going and it's hard to stop him. Just a step quicker, it looks like. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, boy, he is rolling. A striking blow. Eric Corbin just too fast for him. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. When this guy's on, look out. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. The intensity of this map. He goes for the cover. Two. 
and he got a near fall out of it. The bruiserweight Pete Dunne still has some fight left, which means trouble for his opponent. Look out, Baron Corbin is measuring. He's in control. You gotta believe this one's over. He's playing with him now. He's in big trouble. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. He's in full control now. He's got him down. This is it. And one reversal from Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin is measuring. The end of days. Just when you thought he had. He can end it here. Just refuses to quit. The bruiser weight refuses to give up. Oh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. Here it comes. He's got him. No way. A stand of days. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. And a pin attempt. And he got a near fall out of it. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Ooh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. That one packed even his shoulders are down. One, two, three. Yes, takes it. Now let's take a look back at these guys in action. Look at him go. He ain't messing around. Check him out here. No doubt about it, he brought his A game as you can see here. Here is your winner, Pete Dunn. What a back and forth battle that was. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. Well, that was indeed a great match, and I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this victory is.